A fellow named Peter sent me a mystery package to the store, so I thought I'd open it here on TikTok. Inside the package, he gave me two chocolate eggs that had a bunch of caramel Swiss chocolates and two snow globes, which were really nice and from Switzerland. He also sent me a letter with it, and he made a YouTube video for me of him making his own sandwich titled, Thank You Malad. Thanks, Peter. So using your phone at work really depends owner to owner, but at my store, you're 100% allowed to use it. You can use it to listen to podcasts or watch YouTube videos while you're doing your work, but you can't just sit there and scroll TikTok all day. And you definitely can't use it while you're making customer subs, but it's good for background noise and music. People always ask me how I have so many stories to tell, but I think in reality, I just look at life in a certain way. You can make a story out of literally anything you want. I mean, we have stories that happen every single day in our lives. You just have to be paying attention to what's going on around you and kind of take self notes about it. For example, I could probably tell a pretty elaborate story about this person ordering a plain sandwich. A few weeks back, a woman walked into Subway in a really, uh, well, not a good mood, if I'm being honest. So I tried talking to her, and she had told me that her mother had passed away two weeks ago. I felt so sorry for her, and I tried talking her through it. At one point, I told her that her mother will always be there with her, whether she knows it or not, because the impact she had on her life will never leave her, so she'll be there no matter what. The woman started crying to me, and I almost cried too. One of you guys had no idea that Subway has pizza, so let me inform you. The pizzas at Subway are literally killer. You can get whatever toppings you want onto it. I like to make a nice little barbecue chicken pizza, but this person just got a plain cheese pizza. They're personal size, so you could pretty easily demolish these things, and the best part is they're not that expensive at all. Sometimes I have customers that come into the store and they'll see me with my fans who I always give a free cookie to because they're always like, oh, Malad, I watch your content, I support, and we like have a full on conversation. But usually there will be people in line that come afterwards that are like, so do, do I get a free cookie? I'm just like, yeah, you know what? You get a free cookie. You get a free cookie. Free cookies for everybody because why not, right? A lot of you guys keep asking me if I play any video games, and I literally only play Valorant on PC. And I'm going to say right now, I'm not very good, but I try my best. Me and my brother would always get in fights as a kid over what flavor of Doritos is better. So if you're seeing this, you're on Team Blue Doritos. Also known as a Cool Ranch Dorito. So if you're seeing this on your For You page, you got to make sure your team wins by interacting with this post any way you can. Me and my brother would always get in fights as a kid over what type of Dorito is better, so if you're seeing this, you're on Team Red Doritos. Also known as the Nacho Cheese Dorito, so if this is on your For You page, you gotta make sure your team wins by interacting with this post any way you can. I'm not gonna lie, some of the sandwiches we make at Subway are a lot harder to make than others. And the hardest sandwich to make on the menu is easily the Veggie Delight with all the veggies and a few sauces on it. You know, making the sandwich itself isn't actually that hard. It's pretty simple. You just toss veggies onto bread. But closing the sandwich up is such a struggle, I have to say. A lot of people like to use the knife to close the sandwich, but I'm never really a big knife closing guy. But somehow I always manage. I showed you guys my PC and a lot of you guys started asking me for a room tour. So I figured why not just show you guys, right? We got my PC with my two monitors set up and my TV right above it. These all sit on top of my desk and there's not really much to my room. I'm going to be honest, I had to clean up my room for this video. It's not usually this clean. And then I got my closet and my favorite part of my room is my bed and then all the paintings on the wall and yeah that's literally about it one of the many ways that i like to get my mind off of everything is to play mini hoop basketball in my room it might not seem like much but this little hoop and this little ball takes my mind off of literally the entire world for a few minutes whenever i'm feeling stressed or i feel like i have a deadline to meet with school or even tiktok or youtube and stuff i literally just pick up the ball and start shooting yo and honestly it kind of translates to real life basketball i've noticed my shot get a little bit better one of my most asked questions since I started TikTok is whether or not Subway is halal. As of right now, 1 in 10 Subways are halal across the United States and the UK. But every single Subway has halal options. For example, the Veggie Delight. And if you don't know what halal means, it basically means a way of prescribing the meat in a certain way for religious purposes. I hope that answers your question. Hey, for the first time ever, I had a customer come in and he ordered a cookie sub. I'm going to be honest, I never had anybody come in and ever order something like this. But I've made it plenty of times for TikTok. So when he came in and told me me that he wanted a cookie sub i was kind of stunned so i put every type of cookie onto the sandwich for him and i actually burned my hands trying to take it out of the oven and i rang it up for him and it was like seven bucks i hope you enjoy your cookie sub so many of you guys ask me if I've ever cried at Subway. My initial reaction to this question is, what kind of a question is this? I'm in Subway. I'm not in some rom-com. But then I realized, aha, I do cry at Subway. And it's because of the onions. Cutting onions make me cry without a doubt every single time that I cut them. But a little life hack, if you're ever cutting onions, just walk into the walk-in freezer and your tears instantly dry up. I really thought the blue Doritos team was gonna win after they got the red Doritos team's video guideline strike, but in the end, the red team ended up winning. It's a comeback of the century. Me, personally, I like to mix my red and blue Doritos together. 
Sometimes when I'm bored at Subway, I like to make these little funky creations. This is what I like to call a pepperoni bite, where we take the Subway dough, put some pepperonis and mozzarella cheese inside, and fold it over. It's kind of fun doing this, I'm not gonna lie, and it kind of feels like making a little dumpling out of Subway ingredients. And then I threw this bad boy into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it came out delicious. As a kid, I didn't have my cell phone to carry around everywhere, but I had my Rubik's Cube, which I carried around everywhere I went. For the longest time, I had no idea how to solve this thing, but one day, one of my friends showed me how to solve it, and I was so excited. Fast forward to now, I can barely solve a side of it. These funky creations at Subway are so much fun to make, so I thought I'd make myself a nice Nutella ball. Basically, I started off by taking the Subway dough, spraying it with some water, and then spreading it out, and putting some Nutella inside the middle of it. Next, I pinched it up into a ball and flipped it over just like a little dumpling one might say and then i tossed it into the oven at 350 degrees fahrenheit and got this beautiful creation for some reason as a kid i always looked at this kinetic sand and always wanted it but never ended up buying it and now as an adult since i make my own money i can buy whatever toys and kinetic sand i want it's crazy it feels like this stuff is literally just a stress reliever for my mind and for my body and i'm really happy i ended up making this purchase because yo this is the most satisfying thing i've ever bought has the customers ever argued in the line or at the table? So back during the first few months of quarantine, there was two people that came into the store. One was a woman and one was a man. And the woman was online ordering her sandwich and the man was right behind her. And the woman was not happy at all because the man was not socially distant from her. So she made it known. After like 10 seconds of back and forth, I was just like, listen, man, can you just back up like three feet? You'll be okay. It wasn't that big of an argument though. And both people were extremely nice about it. Have you ever fell in love with one of your customers? You know, this is a really fair question. I'm pretty sure I've answered this in the past one or two times before, but I just don't think I can fall in love in a subway. I mean, that's probably one of the least romantic places ever. But to be fair, they say love comes in the weirdest places. So I could understand if somebody falls in love with somebody at their job. I mean, I've heard it happen so many times, but I'm very happy with my girlfriend. So I don't think I'm falling in love anytime soon. I got another mystery package delivered to the store today, so I figured why not open it in front of all of you guys. Honestly, I had no idea what this package was going to be because it was so light, and it turned out to just be a small letter. The letter said, was there a while back? Thanks for the great food. Hey, no problem, buddy. Subway just came out with something new called the Subway Melt. I got the steak version of the melt in the six inch form and it's basically a steak sandwich with onions and green peppers on it. And then we slide it over and add a bunch of extra American cheese. And then we have to toast it a very certain way. We basically just put the cheese onto it and then we put it into this bag and throw it into the toaster oven. This is so that we can make sure the sandwich cooks through thoroughly. And we actually want these certain burn marks on it when it comes out. And voila, we've just made a steak melt. Today, I decided I wanted to make some Orbeez because I was really bored and off from Subway. So first things first, I took a bunch of beads from this thing that I bought online. I poured some water into the cup with the beads, and then I realized this cup is way too small. So I poured it into a larger container, added some more water, and finally, I got these cute little Orbeez. They were so much fun to play with. Ever made someone sub after for yourself because you thought it looked good? Yo, this happens all the time, and this is actually how I discovered the Chipotle chicken sandwich. And that sandwich is actually now one of my favorite sandwiches on the menu. It's how I discovered the meatball and pepperoni people always come in and bring in their own incredible creations to the store so sometimes i'll look at that creation i'll be like huh that looks pretty good and then i'll make it for myself and i'll enjoy that savory sandwich do people recognize you outside of Subway? I've literally only ever been recognized once outside of Subway. If we're not counting the Florida trip, because I got recognized a few times while I was working at Cold Stone. But there was this one time a couple weeks back that I went to an ice cream parlor in my state. And the girl behind the counter was like, this is a really weird question, but are you the Subway guy on TikTok? And I was like, why yes, I am. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, in my head. And I went home and I felt like the coolest person ever. Never been recognized since. Did a fight ever happen in your subway and what's up? Well, not much is up. I'm having a good day. How about you? And there's sort of been a fight at subway. There's never really been like a full out fist fight at subway. That would be bananas. But there's been kids who have been eating at like tables before Corona and they'd like start shoving each other because one of them got annoying or they'd start yelling at each other about something. But there's never just been like a full out fist fight while people were ordering their sandwiches. And I honestly hope that just never happens. Okay, so this is the back of subway. We make all our veggies here. We have our back here with all the chips, all the drinks. This is our freezer. This is where we keep all of our frozen goods, as you can see. Here's our fridge where we keep all of our refrigerated goods. This is the front. This is where we take care of business. We make our sandwiches and everything. This is where people order, you know, the front of Subway. That's where the drinks are. Here's the bathroom, you know, not much to it. And then I have one more super secret place to show you guys in the Subway. This is the basement. 
It's very scary. If you guys get me 100,000 likes, I'll do a tour down there too. Malad, I have a question. Will you open another Subway from the success you had? Well, I wouldn't call myself successful. I mean, I literally just make sandwiches on the internet. And I've thought about this before, and I don't think I will be opening another Subway. Having one Subway is already enough, and I think the more important thing is building this one up to its full potential. And I really like where I'm at now, so why would I just change everything, you know? But who knows? I would have never expected this to happen a year ago, so who knows what'll happen in one year, you know?